So just considering what helps tinnitus get better, if you look at this pie chart here, one of the most important segments, I think universally across the board, that helps tinnitus get better is seeing an audiologist, having an ENT check your ears, making sure that everything is functioning correctly. You just need to do this. You know, if there's something wrong, if there's a pathology, if there's some trauma or something along the auditory canal, you need to make sure that your ears are working as best as they can. And tinnitus retraining therapy, sound enrichment, an audiologist, and a lot of things online can help your tinnitus sound get used to background sounds. Tinnitus retraining therapy is something that can help a lot of people, especially when they're going through the acute phase at the beginning. A positive mindset definitely helps. There are certain people who, will believe, who believe that they'll never get better, and you don't need to be a rocket scientist to, to, to say that that's probably not going to help. A positive mindset definitely helps. It motivates you to try things out, to follow certain paths of other people who've made a successful recovery, and hopefully you find what works for you. Understanding what's going on, understanding that tinnitus is changeable, that many people have got better, that certain people have found certain paths very helpful, and other people have found other paths very helpful. Building up an understanding, researching, knowing that our hearing is a very changeable feast and it can ramp up its sensitivity or switch off and ignore the world, that definitely helps. For some people, diet is really important. You know, cutting down on salt and sugar and avoiding certain foods, that can be really important. Learning how to focus your attention, focusing is something that can be really helpful. So if you're learning to focus on the breathing, you're doing yoga practices, or you're just getting thoroughly stuck into work, that takes your mind away from the ringing and the hearing and focuses you on some objective thing, which gives you a certain amount of relief. So starting off a yoga session, you may be 80% focused on tinnitus, but by the end of it, after an hour of focusing on the body, that's sure to d diminish right down. Distraction, everyday distractions, talking to friends, going for a walk, going on holiday, taking your mind off things. Distraction certainly helps. Coming out of fight or flight or freeze mode can help some people. So there are many things here and I've left a big gap deliberately here saying other things. Other things that help tinnitus get better. There are many things that help tinnitus get better. There are many paths that lead to Rome. This is my chart. This is what helped Julian. By far the biggest thing for me was coming out of fight or flight freeze response and dropping into well-being. And my nervous system went from super alert, terrified, oh my God, reacting to people and life experiences, having bullies in my life, having people bossing me around, telling me what to do, what to think, um, listening to lots of shouting, arguing, having ear infections endlessly as a child, glue ear. So that's a big piece of the puzzle for me. So cranial sacral therapy, learning yoga, body work, Tai Chi, then shift my focus and calm the nervous system down helped me a lot. And also because I had issues with candida, a fungal infection in my blood, it's called candidiasis, going on a a diet really made a big difference to me too. So this is Julian's pie chart. There's no reason why you should follow this. There are many different paths that lead to Rome. This is what helped me and I inspire and help people who resonate with this and who come from a similar background or have similar responses. It does not mean that everybody's like this. So every person will have their own unique set of circumstances that have led to their own tinnitus. And we each have to find what works for us, whether it's body work, dieting, sound enrichment, audiological support, hearing aids, learning to refocus, developing a good understanding of it. We all have to find what works for us. So I just want to put this 
out there that just because this is the way I got better, it does not mean everybody has to get better like this. I'm just sharing what helped me and the things that I have learned, I have put out there for the benefit of others and for the people who appreciate that and who can be inspired by that, great. If it's not your cup of tea, then move on, just go somewhere else. Um, but sitting and getting angry because you think I'm imposing this on everybody, it's, I just want to be really clear, I'm not. This is, I'm just sharing what I have learnt and everybody has many different things that can help them. So the best thing we can do is to build up a broad brushed approach. You have the medical support, audiological support, psychotherapeutic support if you need to work through certain issues in your life. You have body work to calm and settle your nervous system down. You find out whether you have dietary issues. There are people who are putting information out there online, usually from the generosity of their hearts wanting to help others. And you can take it or leave it or see whether it resonates with you. And I just want to make a quick mention of medication. I'm not a doctor and I'm not medically trained to make any recommendations about medication. And so people constantly say, why don't you mention about autotoxic drugs and things? It's not my place to do so. Um, you need to get professional advice from people who are trained in that area and have the latest up-to-date information and plenty of experience working with tinnitus. If you go online, you'll find doom and gloom, as usual, and that can be very activating and upsetting. It's far better to talk to somebody with a lot of experience with medication. So, you know, I acknowledge as a therapist that I've heard of medication being very helpful for many clients during normally during the acute phase, but that's something that it's out of my own professional remit.